into the next story. Uh, Rishi Sunak, Dishy Rishi, says he'll run the economy like Thatcher uh, would have if if he becomes PM. Unfortunately, the way things are, I think he may well have a very good chance at it. Let's uh, see how it goes. Tory leadership hopeful Rishi Sunak has said he sees Margaret Thatcher as a role model for how to run the country if he becomes prime minister. He said he saw parallels between his own upbringing and the Iron Ladies, saying that she was brought up living above her father's grocery shop while he helped out in his mum's pharmacy. We will cut taxes. We will do it responsibly, he said in his first campaign interview. They're always obsessed with that, aren't they? That's my economic approach. I would describe it as common sense Thatcherism. Why do they always refer back to Thatcher when they're trying to make a point uh, of, you know, how, how good they reckon they can be? Uh, Baroness Thatcher, the UK's first female PM, was in office from May the 4th, 1979, until November the 28th, 1990. Her time in office was controversial, presided over privatisation of state companies, uh, the mass sale of council homes, and reduction of the power of trade unions. Uh, let's talk about Arthur Scargill and the miners, shall we? A polarising figure. She's still popular among many Tories, and Mr Sunak seems to be hoping he can benefit from some of that nostalgia. He's not the only Tory to go down that road either. He told The Telegraph that he was following her approach more than his rivals because he was prioritising inflation rather than just saying he will cut taxes immediately, which saw some label him uh, not a true Conservative. Well, yes, I, I tend to agree to that one. The field of candidates was officially confirmed this evening with eight people on the ballot, uh, not including Sajid Javid, who dropped out the running. I know that, uh, oh God, Jeremy Hunt's out of it now, and I think possibly Zahawi as well. Earlier today at his campaign launch, there was an awkward moment when people began booing Sky journalist Beth Rigby. She had raised previous controversies, including his COVID fine and his billionaire wife paying not paying taxes on her overseas income as she was registered as a non-dom, something that's now been changed. Her microphone seemed to be cut off uh, as she asked the question, saying he was a corrosive figure to some. Uh, leading some to speculate it was because of the critical question itself. It was seen on BBC and Sky and is understood to have been a technical issue. Uh, Rishi Sunak's answer was perfectly audible, as he said he'd already responded to these issues when they were raised at the time. His rivals in the leadership race also criticised some of his views, with Jeremy Hunt saying he is worried his economic policy would lead the country into recession. Get the daggers out, Jeremy. And I'm worried that our current trajectory, we're heading into recession and we'll be there for too long. I think we're already there. Uh, I was very worried when he announced his budget. The things that stuck out to me was slashing the growth forecast for next year. That's Jeremy Hunt uh, on Rishi Sunak. Now, uh, 